Well, hi everybody, it's Dr. Christine Anderson here. Dr. Chris is what my patients usually call me. And I am coming on tonight to delve a little bit more into the Solex AO scanner. I came on last week and talked about the upgrades and updates and my experience. And now I wanna kind of go back a little bit and talk in a little bit more detail about the different aspects of the scanner. So I wanted to start with the inner voice scan because this is how I begin my scanning experience. So let's dive right on in and I wanna show you how this can help you with almost everything. Um, everything is really about what we're feeling and our emotions. So this can help with concentration, creativity, mindfulness, emotional intelligence, stress management, and those interpersonal relationships. So uh, just a reminder, here is the five part series I did about a year ago, and I'll put a link to that in the description. So my son helped me out that night. And then this is the one I did just last week, going into detail on the updates improvements, um, additions that really make this scanner absolutely incredible, especially because it's in a mobile unit that everybody can use. Uh, it's not just for practitioners, even though I am one. All right, so I'm going to share my Zoom screen. I already have it up. And I've got my handheld scanner here but I wanted to actually do this on the computer so you could see it really well since there's always a little bit of uh, light glare and whatnot. I do have my bone conducting headset and I'll put that into my computer in a second, but I wanna first do my inner voice and I will show you right now, I'm gonna scroll down. This is a scan that I did earlier but the great thing about this is that you can do this um, really at any time. So this is what it looks like when it comes up on the screen on your device. And this green bar here is what I'm going to hit. And you're going to see it come up. So it's telling me to speak in to one. My name is Christine Anderson. That is the name given to me in this lifetime. I am here showing everybody how inner voice can be used to help in their life. And now I'm going to plug my headset in. Get this on. So right now you're going to see that it's scanning the different emotions that came up. And you'll see in the report that comes up um, what these emotions are based on with some things that can be going on in the body. So it just takes a little bit of time. We've only been doing this now for about 25 seconds and uh, it really doesn't take that long. I usually do this first thing in the morning to get my day started and I find it just a really great way. So we're gonna be ending soon. It's gonna go down to the four different frequency notes and then what you see here is it pops up where you can see the different frequencies. So there's 12 frequencies ranging from the C octave to the B octaves. And then that is uh, represented by the colors there. And let's scroll down. I'm going to talk about this balancing harmonics in a second, but I'm going to click here on the reports. All right, so I want to click on reports, and the report is going to come up. Just take a second. Hopefully, <laughs> there it is. This is my inner voice report. The great thing is, is that you can do this inner voice um, scanning many times dur during the day as much as you need. So my scan earlier today was a bit different, but I've had a full day go on. So I'm gonna scan down here. 
And here we have a little bit of a description of what inner voice is. So if I come here and we want to talk about this um, a little bit, uh, basically it's explaining that everything that we do is uh, basically a frequency. So our voice has notes and chords to it. That is a frequency. It's really an expression of our subconscious mind. It will come out even if you are angry and you think you don't sound angry. It will come out in your voice. So it is pretty incredible. And we're not aware of this. So, um, you know, we're living our lives. We're, we're, we're speaking and subconsciously that information is being portrayed. And we know that there's a link between music and emotions. Um, if you listen to a soundtrack and it's, you're, it's at a, 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 a time where they want you to be sad, there's a certain uh, octave they'll use. I believe it's in the A's or A minor or something like that. It's the saddest, you know, keys of them all. Um, at least that's what my guitar teacher says. <laughs> but look here. Ignoring the impact of emotion, negative emotions and stress communicated by the voice uh, can put our health into jeopardy. And the American Medical Association, even the mainstream, recognizes that 80% of all health problems, I actually think it's higher than 80%, but even if we say 80%, 80% of all health problems are stress-related. And the Centers, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has stated that 85% of all diseases appear to have an emotional element. Now that is absolutely incredible because mostly what do they do in medicine, but they treat the physical aspects, not even touching the emotional aspects. And here they are saying, that 85% of all diseases appear to have an emotional element. That's absolutely incredible. So let's talk a little bit more about how this inner voice works. So like I said, they're using sound harmonizing techniques and they are going to look at these frequencies that your voice is depicting. And in a nutshell, they're looking at whether there are excesses, or um, if it's too, too much or too little, and then they want to try and balance that out, which we'll talk about with the harmonizing frequencies. So like I said, they're looking at um, 12 notes across nine octaves. So we've got some sharps in there. And every single note has a series of overtone series. So there's very there's subtle variations. It's very sophisticated. And here we see that the inner voice helps harmonize our everyday life by improving concentration, creativity, mindfulness, emotional intelligence, stress management, and interpersonal relationships. All right. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. Um, just a little note. You can see in this diagram, there are glasses there with colors in them. So this relates to the colors that bring your emotions into balance. You can wear these glasses while you're listening to the balancing harmonics. Sometimes I'll just wear them out in the day and color coordinate my outfit maybe but these are going to help strengthen the results to what you are going to experience when you are doing the inner voice. All right, so my high frequencies were the D sharp, D, and G sharp, and so that's reflected in these colors here. Um, it does change. We change. We change from moment to moment, and then we go down here and see, well, what does this mean? All right, so my, the first one is D-sharp. Here it is, uh, emotionally disconnected versus emotionally integrated. Now, you know, a lot of these are like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how am I emotionally disconnected? Well, 
It's very interesting. I was just before I came on, I was actually listening to something really, really. Um, uh, <laughs> how can I say this? It was a little bit disconcerting. And I think as a doctor, sometimes I do have to become emotionally disconnected, not completely, but to keep um, that objective aspect, because otherwise I won't be very effective as a doctor. So it's, there's a balance between being that emotionally integrated and just a little bit distanced. But I'm hoping that, you know, over time, I can keep this as balanced as possible. So the positive emotions are listed here. The negative emotions are listed here. And then the, the supportive note that corresponds to the balancing aspect is an A. The color is violet, and violet helps support these things. Wealth, creativity, wisdom, self-dignity, dignity, devotion, peace, mystery, and independence. Great. I want that. So the emotions associated with being out of balance might be grief, selfish, and communication conflict. Um, as far as what might come up on my vital scan, maybe I'm going to see things with iron, manganese, B7, and biotin. So it's relating what might also be going on physically. Potential causes might be these things, maybe some food sensitivities, um, maybe some parasites, maybe some toxicities. So it's potential. It doesn't mean that this is the case, but it just, if you think that these might be issues, you can double check with them and you can find out and you can also look for these as you do the vital scan and the comprehensive scan. So here are some imbalances and suggestions that uh, they suggest supporting digestion, the endocrine system, and the adrenal system. And what's really cool, look right here. Consider chiropractic adjustment. <laughs> and I do need to get an adjustment. So there you go. Um, I also try to support my digestive system with digestive enzymes. Um, so maybe I need to look here at considering adrenal and thyroid support, which I actually usually do too. So this just really reinforces what I'm already doing. So the second one that comes up is going to be the sadness versus inner peace. Corresponding note is a D. And again, goes through all the positive emotions, negative emotions. Um, again, I was listening to something very, it was kind of sad um, uh, and a little bit troubling. So this really makes sense to me. And again, you know, I can go through here and look at the emotions, the vitals, potential causes and imbalances and suggestions. The third one is the suppressed emotional versus self-expression, same thing. So these reports come up every single time and every time you can kind of look at it and see how it relates to you. And this last one is where the emotion is lower than the others. So it's the lowest emotion that showed up. And this is angry versus accepting of change. And the same thing would apply. We don't want our emotions to be too out of balance, too high or too low. And this would involve listening to tones with C, color red, and then these are some of the things that might be affected. So let's go back up here, and you can see here the F sharp was the lowest one, and that is why the red came up to balance it out, because it's a complementary color. So um, that's kind of how that works. So let me also go to, scrolling all the way up here, the balancing harmonics. So once I do the scan, I'm going to click on this. And this is going to play the tones related. I'm going to turn this up. Hopefully you can hear it. So this is the A balancing out the D sharp place for about three minutes. The 
this is the next tone. It's the G sharp balancing out the D. So they're quite pleasant. What they did was they took the frequency of G sharp and created music versus just, uh, you know, a single tone. Just, you know, not <laughs> Sometimes if you're listening just to tones, it's really harsh. So that's the G sharp. So I'll just put these on and I can also meditate with some of the things that came up and figure out why that might be showing up that day. Each tone is about three minutes, so it's about, what is that, maybe 10 to 12 minutes long, approximately. Um, so it's nothing too long. It really does go by quickly, and I certainly don't mind doing that. So that is basically how to run an inner voice report. Super easy, literally pushing one button on here that says inner voice and this pops up. So there's that green bar there. So that's all I do on my phone. Um, just showing you on my computer. Uh, it is definitely, um, I think better to do it on the phone, but as long as you have, I listen by the way, to the tones with headsets. You want to listen with headsets because it does make a difference how it's coming through the right and the left ear. But I just wanted you guys to hear what uh, was going on. So I'm going to head back into my PowerPoint presentation and let you know that if you are interested in seeing what is going on with your emotions, I am offering a complimentary inner voice scan with the tunes, with the tones that come up, so you can see how this might work for you. All right. So if you would like, reach out to me via my website, www.losangeles-chiropractor.com. Um, I'm doing this for a limited time. I don't know how long, uh, maybe for a month or two, maybe till the end of the year. So if you're listening to this early on, get in touch with me um, so that you can see what this is like. And it can all be done remotely. So you don't actually have to be in the room with me. There's a way to do it remotely. All right, I hope you enjoyed this uh, session where I talk about inner voice and how it can help you. Uh, if you thought this was helpful, please like this. It does make a difference. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification button. Please share this with your friends. Everybody needs to have their emotions supported. Like I was saying, anywhere between 80 to 90% of the things that we're experiencing are subconscious. They are related to our emotions and the things that are going on that are making us perhaps not as healthy and happy are related directly to those emotions you are experiencing. So everybody could use some support in that area pretty much. Have a great week and I will see you next time.